Talk about them again, you keep on settling, wonder if love is a pain of the medicine, you never let it in. Well I guess it's your right. The biggest but never mind. Someone might be able to find that one day and recognize you and be like the night. Welcome to my life adventures. I'm the one and only Monica the Spirit Queen. I'm a professional psychic medium and a paranormal investigator. My crew and I lurk in the shadows at night, hunting spirits and demons. I do readings, break black magic spells, travel, expose fake psychics, and have clients from around the world. I'm no nonsense when it comes to respect and honesty. I have a crazy busy life, but I love it. My family keeps me going with their love and support. I will never give up, no matter what demons I have to face. That did not sound right at all. Hey guys, I owe my husband breakfast. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she woke me up at 7 o'clock in the morning saying, hurry, we gotta go. I'm gonna be late for my doctor's appointment. Makes me Queen jump Mary out of bed. Yeah. Is that good, your highness? Queen? Yeah. Mary, jump out of bed. What time? 7 in the morning. What time woke did you up. actually get up? 8 o'clock. No, what time did you get out of bed? I don't know what time. 8.15. Okay, 8.15. Rolled my fat ass out of bed. Got my socks, my slippers, got dressed, got in the car, get to the doctor's office. <laughs> and she don't even have a doctor's appointment today, it's tomorrow. <coughs> that's my wife. <coughs> but see, that's what's messed up, because he works and does all this stuff for other people. And then during the daytime, her brain is mush. My brain doesn't work. I'm not a morning person, number one. Everybody knows that. Look, do you think this is Chinatown? Look at the building. I want to get some vitamins from over here. Or not vitamins, but that tea stuff. That make tea. Chinese people will never get sick. Because they always drink that. They drink really healthy teas and stuff. Oh, these fuckers. <clears throat> okay, so. The Chinese or? No, not the Chinese. <laughs> I'm mixing two things together. See, Chinatown. Hi. Chinatown. Now I'm way up here. <laughs> well, you make up your mind where you want to be at, woman. Oh my god, you guys. So, that Petco. Don't listen to the rumors that said Petco is cheaper than PetSmart. Their prices are bumped up. <coughs> yep. They're more expensive than PetSmart. Online, they're more cheaper, I noticed. Because when I get ads on Google, yeah. those prices are cheaper than PetSmart prices. If I... Okay, as if there's not enough libtards in this world, I just, like, communicated with the one of the biggest libtards in the world. Right now. Yeah, she was pretty dumb. I was like, okay. So this woman, this worker. In 600 feet, turn right onto West. She kept looking at me because um, I went there without a freaking mask. Yeah. She didn't have a mask on? Yes, yeah, she did. She had a black mask on oh. with the writing on it. Shows you how much I paid, didn't She kept looking at me. Like all weird and shit. Okay, so it, I think it's really creepy. Like, okay, I understand it's respectful to make eye contact when someone's talking to you but not stare at them in their eyes like that. So at first I thought she was just doing it because she thought my husband was really cute. I mean, he is really cute. I wasn't even there. Don't over talk me. No, you weren't there in the beginning when you were asking her questions about mice and crickets right. and shit. So she kept like staring and staring and staring right in his eyes, right? I almost said something. Except that my husband walked away to go look at other stuff and I was still talking to her because I, was, I, I wanted to see if they had snakes and shit. And... Now you yeah, tell me you the last to... fucking minute. I asked her, I said, where... I said, because they only had like two regular ball pythons that looked like little hatchlings. She didn't know anything about snakes. She didn't know anything about ball pythons. I told her we have, you know, a lot at home. I asked if they adopted animals, reptiles out to the ones that, that, that are not eating, refusing to eat, that, that are sick or whatever. And she goes, no, um, that's not our policy. And I said, so what do you do with those animals? She looked at me like I was this dumb one. And she's like, uh, take him to the vet. And I was like, uh, and then what happens? the vet can't fix it like you can't take a snake to the vet and say it's refusing to eat fix the, him yeah fix him make him eat like you can't it's not a human being to for you know so I, I was educating her on snakes educating educating her on snakes and she was like oh um looking at me like i was the dumb one for three miles but it's okay we all know who the dumb one is at this point point. and then there is this gecko 
It was a crested gecko. I saw that said crested gecko and she said leopard gecko. They don't know the mm. difference. It's a huge difference. Crested geckos and leopard geckos they are two different species. They don't even look the same. Species. They look like two different species. They're, they yeah. are. They're two different species. I said, okay, can you open this so I could see it? She's like, yeah, hold on. And then she just takes off. She was weird. Yeah, she was really weird. And I'm she like, do you have crickets? She's like, yeah. But it was a crested gecko. And then I'm like, okay, I need 50 of them. Can you put them in a tub? And then she's like, oh, you have to buy your own tub. I'm like, okay, so where are the tubs? And then she said, I can't, they come with, in tubs. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I can't do stupid people. I just, I don't, I, I can't. Can you? I can't Not do very well, stupid I don't. people. Like, Look at that. Ooh, how cool. Isn't that beautiful? So the original reason she recorded was. I am so tired. <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna go home and sleep I think for an I hour or two. Like three hours of sleep Fuck, and then I gotta get up early in the morning again tomorrow. I don't get why they're gonna just see you while we're there today. Because they were completely booked. I think that chick is just a bitch at the front. I was saying lady from last time. Did I yell that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, why do you guys get your butt feelings hurt when I yell at you? Obviously I don't yell at people for no reason. If I'm yelling at somebody, they, they cross the line and they even, piss me off. Even playing a joke the other day <clears throat> on one of your clients, he thought you were serious. I think it's just the way you carry yourself because he got his feelings hurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can I get a large iced coffee? Uh, I want it original. And can you add a, a shot of espresso and a shot of chocolate drizzle to it? And then uh, the little lady wants a small coffee with seven creams and seven sugars inside. Yeah, but the large iced coffee is an iced coffee. The large iced coffee is an iced coffee, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's that's it, buddy. Yeah, to get serious for a minute. Some people have a sense of humor and they laugh. Mm -hmm. Well, because they don't know they if like that's to really to drive them my accent they or not. Up on our order so much. Hello, say hello to you two. Not you, the lady. People look so ridiculous with the fucking mask. Oh, with the mask. It's like, I don't know. I never know what you're going to say, and I bite my tongue every time. Like, oh God, what is she going to say? Oh, cool, awesome. thank you. Thank you. She just wanted to be thank in your you. video. Where are you going without our stuff? Second window. Oh, but you're driving away without my coffee. I was fucking getting angry. No, I need my coffee. I got that smoker's cough. No, that... it's a smoker's cough. I get that too. People look at me like, what the fuck? I'm like, shut up. You're not going to die. You'll live. Just shut the fuck up. Like, I'm so sick of these fucking lift cards. Like, seriously. Mind your own business. I don't see anything when you're fucking wearing a mask. Don't don't worry about it. And then it's funny because they'll look at me like I'm the crazy one and I'll, I look weird without a fucking mask. Yeah. Bitch, look in the fucking mirror. Who looks weird when you're, you're covering your face? That's weird to me. That's weird. You're the one that looks weird that wears a fucking mask. Not me that doesn't wear a mask. I look pretty. Yeah. I show my pretty face. Yeah. So fuck you. Yeah. Had to get that out. Fucking mind your own business. Shut the fuck up. I, I don't know what that cards. store was we just passed, but it said movies, books, games, and more. Let's do it. Do what? Let's go. There's a psychic store. Okay, dude. I want to go expose. Let me know in the comments below, you guys, because I've been getting a lot one. of messages. Yeah, if they want us to do another one, I'll take you and go do another one. Let me know in the <clears> comments, <throat> you guys. Seriously. If you guys want me to go into another psychic shop like I did. Assholes. They didn't put no cream, no sugar in it couple of months ago and I exposed them for being fake these fucking tarot card readers so let me know because go back and I'm gonna put, actually put the link in the description so you guys can click on it and see that I actually expose fake psychics and taste this it tastes like I'm drinking asshole I don't want to taste asshole we'll taste it I'm done I'm done I wanted to let you guys know I've noticed and my husband noticed and my really close girlfriend noticed it too people are becoming a little too comfortable with me as being a client of mine I'm very respectful I never been over backwards for anybody so don't expect me to do that but I'm cool I help you guys that's my job I'm not obligated to do this I choose to do this as well as I choose to drop cases for certain people that cross the line even my friends know not to contact me and try to use me for the abilities I have and say hey Monica I think something's going on can you look into this for me real quick or calling you at three o'clock in the morning 
and you know, number one, my friends don't without, even call me that without me. emailing you first or setting up an appointment. But number two, with the stupid excuse of, oh, it's morning time where I live. Well, you know you're calling a different country, so why wouldn't you check and see what time it is? Or even a different state, check the time mm -hmm. zones. I'm only one person contacting hundreds of thousands of people from around the world. So if I have the common sense, fucking that's what Google is for. Google it. Put in their zip code, put in their uh, area code, see where they're from. You guys could be cut like three or four hours ahead of me. The other night, some idiot called me. And this is when I'm, this is where it comes to some people are starting to feel a little too comfortable. 1.30 in the morning, he gives me a call. Why is that? Here, just give me the damn thing. What are you talking about? You're perfect. It was like all the way down to my butt. I don't want people seeing my really? ass. Really? You, you're full of dog My doo -doo. ass is sexy, but you're it's for full me. of dog doo -doo. So he fucking calls. I had my husband answer, but I'm on speaker. And I was like, what the fuck? I couldn't, I could not believe what I was hearing. I got yelled at. Because you were too nice. I was expecting you to yell at him. No, I yelled at him. First you yelled at me. I grabbed the phone. Because he called Snatched me. Snatched the phone. Asking. Right out of my hand. For a fucking reading. It was 1.30. Are you fucking kidding me? You have to be that stupid to call me in the middle of the night to ask me for a reading and expect me to do it? I love when they call and then I answer and they're totally not expecting me to answer. And they're like, uh, 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 I'm like, yeah. Spit it out. They're like so confused because I am. Like I was saying, I don't want you guys to feel too comfortable where you think that you're going to call me any hour without an appointment. I don't talk to anybody without, you need to have an appointment with me. Plus when you're about. calling, a lot of times she's on the other line, you're interrupting what she's doing with someone. Yeah, I'm always working, so stop fucking calling me, number one. Number two, don't send me a text message. This is to my clients. I love you guys, I respect you guys, but then there are some that I notice have been feeling a little too comfortable contacting me while I'm in the middle of working on their case asking me to do additional work or to look into something else or personal That's stuff like i'm constipated oh my god i get that so much like don't talk to me about your personal life don't text me telling me about your personal daily life and what you're doing and what you're not doing and this and that because i don't have time i don't i'm constantly filming i have little kids and a big kid and a big kid i have animals I have clients, I have a business, I have a lot of things that I'm doing. I'm busy, I'm working. My psychic business is She has business. an attitude. Grab that one. I have a bitchy attitude. Only to those that piss me off across the line. So please don't get too comfortable with me, because it's kind of... I just saw one look. All of this shit going on, the shooting's are strong, one shot to the head and I'm gone.